Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask in the world. And today we are testing user alert, user alert, user submitted masks from Carolina. She submitted a ton and I'm super excited to get to all of them. Thank you so much for sending these to me. This is super cool, especially since I have gotten this request so many times, but for some reason, I don't have them at any of my Walgreens. So I'm super excited to test the Walgreens mask. Let's put it in the clamper. This is the small one and small masks are really hard because I have to get a hundred centimeters of uh, material and it's, it's I, I gotta be like perfect on this. So let me try this here. I think I got it, I think I got it. All right, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this works, check out that link. And remember, we are just testing the fabric here. We're just testing filtration and breathability. We are not testing fit. You need both fit and filtration to choose a good mask. All right, Walgreens, tell me more, tell me more. Let's take a look at your website here. Pretty good. So I can never get them on stock and it says in store, not available. So people have been writing to me, Lloyd, test the Walgreens mask, and I can't get them anywhere. So it's super cool that she sent these to me. I'm looking on here, I'm not seeing anything that's standing out. I'm looking at the box, the box is great. Probably one of the better, like, I mean, it's just a beautiful, the logo right up there, it tells you exactly what it is. I love this. This mask is not a re respirator. I love the color scheme, by the way. Walgreens has a good color scheme. I don't know, you CVS or Walgreens? CVS or Walgreens? I'm Walgreens, I don't know why. Just like them. Uh, keep dry and made in Thailand. We haven't had any Tha Thailandese mask. Masks made in Thailand. Thai, oh, Thai. We haven't had any Thai masks. I am so uneducated. Clearly some of these are used as the small one. I had one for the test and one for here. Okay, this is interesting. This is exactly like how um, uh, I, I first saw this, uh, this design in uh, Taiwan. This is very similar to how uh, Taiwan makes their mask. Interesting that, um, that it looks a little see-through here. So I'm wondering how well this is gonna um, show on the, on the system. But I love this design because it's actually harder to make. They basically do a double, uh, and the ear loop's not gonna be, it's, it's not gonna be very strong. These are usually very strong. When they're made in, in uh, well, look at this cute. Oh. This, it smells like the White House Rose Garden. I mean, I don't know why. This is just a delightful smelling mask. This could be more Carolina and less about how these actually will smell when they get to you because there was just one in the box. I think she keeps a very clean house, so. But it smells really, really nice. The, the nose wire is almost non-existent though, but it's, it's not the worst nose wire. It fits pretty good. The ear loops, I can tell, are just gonna break. Yeah. Ear loops aren't the best, unfortunately. All right, but does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? What does the machine say? We don't know, we don't know. Remember, 95% minimum standards in the United States. Yeah, I, I mean, you could do better, Walgreens. You could do better. 82.495, 82.495. Not ideal. We like to see the minimum standards in the United States. An ASTM level one mask is 95%. I like to see, you know, maybe I'm just one of those annoying kids you know, in, in high school that just had to get the best grade. Uh, it wasn't me actually, but I, I like 90, 98%. That's an ASTM level two or ASTM level three mask. Um, I wouldn't buy the Walgreens mask. That's my opinion. Great packaging, smells like a rose garden, hitting a lot of marks, but 80%, yeah. that's like the, like what an epidemiologist says, the minimum minimum that you want a mask to be is around 80%. It's like, hey, we're not showing up for the minimums, especially for that price. It's a little expensive. You can't buy them anyway, so what does it matter? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Uh, and thank you again to Carolina for sending me these masks. I think we got four or five more of your masks left, so stick with us. And look, we're trying to test all the masks in the world. I don't know if you know this, but there are 6,214 masks in the world. And we want to test them all. We, we're not, we didn't even put a dent in it yet, so you gotta send us your mask. If you, if you see a mask, send us the entire box. I'm gonna put the uh, address down below, and I will catch you on that next test. Maybe it's gonna be yours. All right, thanks so much.